I hope everyone's doing well. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we're going through a bunch of questions from a textbook. I'll include the credit for that. In the information section for this video, we're starting here with question 3 and we're going up to question 8. These are all logarithmic questions. Question 3 A and B. Let's start with that. When you are looking at some logarithmic form, log AX is equal to Y. You can convert this into an exponential as A to the Y is equal to X. And that's the format you want to use for these questions. Log base 5 of 125. Convert it. This is equal to Y. This right here is equal to Y. Let's look at the top question. 5 to the Y is equal to 125. 5 to the y is equal to 5 exponent 3. These cancel out. y equals 3. So this first one, the answer must be 3 and it will be right. Look right here at this log base 3 of 127 equals y. You can again bring in the exponential. 3 to the y is equal to 1 over 27 which is equal to 3 to the power of minus 3. These will cancel out. y is equal to minus 3 and that answer will be right. And you're done with these by using the template for converting logarithmic to exponential format. Question number 4 a and b we have natural log 1 or e and we have log base 10 of root 10. Again you can do those conversions. You can do this in two ways. I'll show you one way right here log base e. Natural log is equal to log base e. I have 1 over e is equal to y. I can do the exponential now e to the y is equal to 1 over e which is equal to e to the power of minus 1. These cancel out y equals minus 1. That's right. But the other way you can do it is an easier way, natural log 1 over e is equal to natural log e to the power of minus 1. You can literally transport this here, you have minus 1 natural log e, natural log e is equal to 1, your end result is a minus 1 and it's easy. And the next one is not too bad by any means. We're looking here at log base 10 of 10 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to y. 10 to the y is equal to 10 to the 1 over 2. Therefore, y is equal to 1 over 2 and that's done. If you want, you can do this a different way. It's a longer way, but it's a different way. Log base 10 of 10 to the power of 1 over 2. You can literally transport the exponent, make it a co coefficient. 1 over 2 log base 10 of 10. That's what you have. This right here is a property. It's a property which is of this log base a of x to the power of n. You can transport this right here. You can say n log base a of x. It's transported. The exponent has become the coefficient. Now all you will do is evaluate this. This right here is equal to y. 10 to the y is equal to 10 to the 1. y is equal to 1. This 1 will multiply with the coefficient. You'll have 1 over 2 and you're done. 5a log base 5 of 1 over 25. It's equal to y. 5 to the power of y is equal to 1 over 25, which is equal to 5 to the power of minus 2. These cancel out. y equals minus 2. And that has to be your answer, and it will be right. How about this next one? e exponent natural log 15. There's a specific identity e to the power of natural log x is equal to x. The x literally comes over here, so your answer should be 15 by means of this identity. But if you didn't know this identity, you can do this another way y is equal to e exponent natural log 15. Bring in the natural logs. Natural log y is equal to natural log 15 and natural log e. Why is natural log e equal to 1? Because it is. Why is it equal to 1? Think of it as this log base e of e is equal to y. e to the y is equal to e to the 1 and y is equal to 1. So anytime you see natural log e, it's always equal to 1. So now what do we have? Natural log y equals natural log 15. Push this on the other side natural log y minus natural log 15 is equal to 0. Independent logs with a minus is a quotient under a common log. I'll have y over 15 and a common log is equal to 0. Push the natural log on the other side. y over 15 is equal to e exponent 0 which is equal to 1. Push the 15 on the other side. y is equal to 15. Hence we're good. 15 is our answer. But again using the identity which I showed you e exponent natural log x is equal to x is your way of doing it and there's nothing wrong with doing it then e exponent natural log 15 is indeed equal to 15. Question 6 a and b log base 10 of 0.1 let's look at a log base 10 of 0.1 which is 10 to the minus 1 is equal to y 10 to the y is equal to 10 to the minus 1 you can cancel these out it's equal to minus 1 so you're good how about b log base 8 320 minus log base 8 5 these bases are the same so you can do something if the bases are not identical you're stuck you can't do anything Independent logs, same basis, will become a quotient under a common log. Log base 8, quotient coming through. 320 divided by 5. What's 320 divided by 5? It's 64. I have log base 8 of 64 is equal to y. Bring this logarithmic form into exponential. a to the y is equal to 64. 
bring everything here under base 2, 2 cubed to the y is equal to 2 to the power of 6, 2 to the 3y is equal to 2 to the 6, you can cancel this out, 3y equals 6, y equals 2, so we're good. How do you know if your answer is indeed good? It is good, but how can you check if it's good? I'll show you. It's a mathematical way you can do it using calculator by bringing in the change of base formula. This by means of change of base is natural log 320 divided by natural log 8 minus. This by change of base formula is natural log 5 divided by natural log 8. You can do this computation. Do this, save it, do this, minus that from the saved value, you will get 2 and it will be right. This is just nothing but calculator work. 7a and b. Exact value determinations we have to do here. We have similar bases so we can do something. Let's look at a log base 2 of 6 minus log base 2 of 15 plus log base 2 of 20. Bring everything under a common log. Where you have a minus it will become a quotient. Where you have a plus it will become a product. I have a 6 times 20. This 6 and this 20 will multiply under a common log because a plus became a times. This minus will become a quotient and this is what I have. You can simplify this. 5 goes in 15, 3 times, 5 goes in 20, 4 times, 3 goes in 6, 2 times. I have log base 2 of 8 is equal to y, 2 to the y is equal to 8. You know y here has to be equal to 3 because 2 cubed is equal to 8 and that's done. What about this log base 3 of 100 minus log base 3 of 18 minus log base 3 of 50. You can bring everything under a common log and remember the minuses will become quotients. Look, I have a hundred, I have a minus, it'll become a quotient. How about I do times one over 18, which is still a quotient. I'm doing one over 18, it's a quotient. I have another minus times one over 50. It's again another quotient coming through. I have log base three, 100 divided by 18 times 50. This zero cancels out with that. Five goes in 10, two times, two goes in 18, nine times. I have log base 3, 1 over 9 is equal to y. Bring the logarithmic into exponential. 3 to the y is equal to 1 over 9, which is equal to 3 to the minus 2. Cancel these out. y equals minus 2. And that's your answer, and it will be right. Last one, 8a and b. Let's start with a. e exponent minus 2 natural log 5. Think about this logarithmic identity. Natural log of x to the a, you can translocate this here. You have a natural log x. But think also about this, e to the power of minus natural log x is equal to 1 over x. It, these are identities you can bring into play right over here. Using this first one right over here, you're really looking at e exponent minus natural log 5 squared, which is e exponent minus natural log 25. Using the second identity, I'm looking here at 1 over 25, and that must be my answer, 1 over 25, and it will be right. Consider also this, when I'm looking at e exponent minus 2 natural log 5, it is equal to e exponent minus natural log 25. This is equal to a y. Bring the properties of logs. I have minus natural log 25 natural log e is equal to natural log y. This cancels out. I can push this onto the other side. I would have natural log y plus natural log 25 is equal to 0. When you push this here, you're left with 0. Individual logs common basis because these are base e logs you can bring them as a product under a common log natural log 25y is equal to 0 push the natural log on the other side 25y is equal to e exponent 0 which is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 over 25 and we know our answer is good so it's good I've shown you using the identity and I've shown you using the longer route last question natural log of natural log e exponent e exponent 10 Bring in the substitution, u is equal to e exponent 10. Suddenly I can write natural log of natural log e exponent u. Think about that identity I've shown you right here. You can translate this into a coefficient, natural log of u, natural log e. We know natural log e is equal to 1. I'm looking at natural log of u, but u is equal to e to the 10. I'll say natural log e exponent 10, which I can say as natural log e with a 10 outside. I can transport this right here. I'm looking at a 10 natural log e, but natural log e is equal to 1. I'm left with a 10, and my answer must be right. If indeed you don't accept this answer to be right, I can show you it is right without using a calculator. I'm looking at left-hand side, and I'm looking at right-hand side around that equal sign. They should be equal to each other, and they will be. When I'm looking at this, I'll push the natural log on the other side. I have natural log e exponent e exponent 10. This first natural log goes on the other side. I bring in the exponential. I have that. I can push this natural log on the other side. I have e exponent e exponent 10 is equal to, I'll bring yet another exponential, e exponent e exponent 10. Left side and right side, 
expressions look similar they're identical so this answer is right this answer is right and that's it for this video thank you for joining me have a good day bye